Hey Chain Breakers, World Changers, Jessica Manuel here for my eighth home base video on breaking the chain. And today I want to talk to you about the key of opportunity. Many people say that I'm extremely hard on myself. And they would be right. But what many people don't know is that being hard on myself is really one of the best things for me. I'm never satisfied. I'm always hungry for more. I always, I perform better at my job because I want to do better. I, I, I make excellence non-negotiable and it's, it's always a great thing. I've been disappointed by people in my life and I know that I'm in control, in full control on whether or not I disappoint myself. I use the, that fear to drive me. That fear of disappointment is really a way of wanting to win. And it excites me. And so I wanted to explain that, you know, we, we can make a choice to chain ourselves to doubt, disappointment, fear, regret. But know that the process um, of progression is really an opportunity in itself. You have an opportunity to move forward, so do it. And if, you, if you're not happy with where you are right now, I wanted to highlight a couple ways that you can start um, making some changes. So the first and, and most critical thing that I like to do is make goals. Now it's important to make them and commit to them but if you're not satisfied or you're disappointed with your progression in them, I want you to reevaluate the choices that you make first of all. If it's, let's say if it's a goal to have more energy, then reevaluate your day-to-day -day tasks. Are you going to bed early? Are you eating good food? Um, make sure that the choices you're making every day is pulling you forward um, and not pulling you back. Um, the second thing is, is that if you're making good choices and you reevaluate them and you're happy with where you're at there, then reevaluate your goals and make sure that they're attainable. We typically set really high expectations for ourselves and that leads to us disappointing ourselves. So avoid that from happening by just making sure that your goals are attainable. And most importantly, celebrate the small steps. Just like a child falls all the time when they're learning to walk, we encourage, we clap, we cheer, and, and we want them to make that next step and that next attempt because we know that eventually they will walk and eventually they will run. But we fail to use that same process throughout our life. We fail to recognize that even though our parents aren't there to celebrate our successes anymore, it's just as important for us to celebrate our own success and cheer ourselves on. Understand that failure is a part of the process and it's a foundational part of being successful. How you respond to your failures will determine how successful you will be. Will you go out and try again? Will you take some time to reflect on what you could have done better? Will you not be prideful enough to, to accept where you went wrong? Will you not be prideful enough to ask for help? Those are all things that you can, you can apply to um, being more successful. And the more you do it, the more you go out and try, the, more, the, the less and less doubts you're going to allow in and the more you're going to expect from yourself. There are opportunities everywhere. But it's up to you to take them, to live them, and eventually get to a point where you can give those same opportunities to others. And be grateful for them too. So <laughs> I want to encourage you to beat yourself up too today. Be your worst enemy. Push yourself. It's a good thing. If you liked my video, please take five minutes and read the full topic on opportunity below on my blog. And I will be back next weekend to talk about more breaking the chain topics. And let's be the generation that breaks the chain. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you next weekend.